Welcome to Sunlust Map 22. It's a pretty interesting start. You have to collect weapons and then kill some chain gunners. As well as hit this revenant and hit the switch that it's blocking. Something you might want to look out for is those cacodemons, which can sometimes block you if you're too slow while getting the switch. What I'm trying to do right now is make everything in fights because that just benefits me in every possible way. Things almost went wrong here, as you can see, but I got a bit lucky and I was able to get out. This is attempt 10 by the way, which means that presumably this map is 10 times harder than the previous map. It isn't 10 times harder, but it's definitely harder. Significantly harder. But nowhere near as hard as map 20. This is a weird little switch. It lowers that area, but just for a second. And here what I want to do is get that cyberdemon to infight with all those bastards. These men could buy there's no reason to keep them alive unless you're trying to get things to infight. But there's a cyber demon here, so no need. Any Hell Knights that don't infight, I'll either try and get to infight or I'll just kill them. This is a case of the latter. This is the most difficult fight in the map, so it's good to get it done early. I made a com well, I made a mistake here. That mistake being, I thought that the other Hill Knight would be in fighting with it, and I shot it, but no, so I just killed it. Now this part takes a while, so I think it'd be better to speed it up a bit. You know, this is why green cybers were invented, so that we don't have to chop down cyber demons like this everywhere we go. This archvile isn't too much of a problem, unless you really screw up. But fortunately for me, I do not. Now there's a teleporter right here. It brings you to the other island. This map is split into two areas, and this is the second of them. This area stages the second most difficult fight in the map, which will happen right after this one. That switch behind these guys is what starts it. You shouldn't have too much problem here, as long as you just don't take a lot of damage like I did. At least this first area. So now, I want to hit this switch. It releases all these guys. What makes this difficult is because there's a lot of enemies taking up space and there's a lot of enemies that you have to kill quickly. Because behind all of the revenants and the imps, there are pain elementals, as you can see. They essentially spring a bunch of lost souls on you while well, you have to dodge all the Revenant missiles, which is a pretty interesting combination that also happens to be quite deadly. However, in this case, I survived. 
I think this actually might be the most difficult fight of the map. It's a toss-up between this one and the other one that I was talking about, the Cyber Demon. <laughs> now there's a couple of enemies just hiding around the corner here. Don't get surprised by the two chain gunners. That switch raises this area, but first, want to get that rocket. It's not a secret or anything, but there's no... There's nothing really bad about having more ammo. However, you can, like, take damage from the floor down there, so be a bit careful. Here's one of the secrets, and there's the other one on this side, but that one's more difficult to get from my location there. <laughs> you do want to be careful of those guys. They're Mankibai, so they can deal a lot of damage real quickly. So just kill them. And try not to miss all of your missiles, like I did. Although it wasn't really an issue for me, because I didn't run out of missiles in this map, I don't think. Now here's where the third secret is. You inch across this ledge right here, and then the switch lowers. I might have wanted to kill the revenants first. Probably would have been a good idea. So, with blue key in hand, I can go here. But I don't really need to yet. The main thing you get from going over here is the plasma gun. Now I want to go down here. Yet another area which can be quite deadly if you don't know how to deal with it. You want to instantly kill these two Mankibai, probably with plasma so you don't have to deal with splash damage, so that you can get away from the Archfile pillars. So yeah, unless you want to get triple zapped, I would suggest killing the Menkivai first. Or just be really lucky. Well, the next fight it is one of the more difficult ones, but it's not the most difficult. It really shouldn't be a problem for you too much if you get this far. Just kill the Archviles first, so they're not restricting half of the battlefield. And use the plasma to get out of any sticky situations. Something of note is that the Cacodemons like to climb those pillars, so if you're unlucky, you can just, like, have one of them really high above you. Some things I should mention about this map, it's... It's the map from Sunlust that nobody remembers. It's also a Ribix map. You can tell because of all the curvular architecture. I mean, if you look on the auto map, yeah, everything's real curvy. 
it's recognizable once you look at Ribix maps enough, which I have. So, the next and final fight is right here. I'd say the easiest way to deal with this is to just kill all the revenants and imps that spawn here first, and then kill everything else later with the rocket launcher, or whatever. At this point I've got enough ammo that it really doesn't matter what I use. as long as it kills them quickly enough that they can't really overwhelm you. And here we have it. Black Rabbit finished. So yeah, I think I've already outlined all my thoughts on this map. So, goodbye, enjoy your day, and I'll see you next in map 23, which is right before the Great Shelf, I suppose you could say.